So first of all, um, development is the unrolling or the unfolding of an object to show its pattern. And so we need a seam, a place that we're going to cut to open up our hexagonal prism. So let's indicate, say the seam is going to be here. Right, so we're going to cut our object there and we're going to number this object. So let's say we're cutting at this point here, this is going to be zero, one, two, three, four. Five and six. So it's a hexagon, so it has six points. Now I'm going to put these same divisions on our elevation. If I'm starting here, I'm going to see zero and six. Those are the points that are here. Um, what do we have here? One and five. Okay, so how am I getting one and five? When I look at this line, I'm seeing one and five. So here we're gonna have points two and four. And at the end here, we're gonna have point three. Right, so we have number of our elevation, which corresponds to the numbers that we have on our plan. So now we're going to project our development next to our elevation. So I'm going to start with the base and I'm just going to get a start line. Let me use a construction line. I'm going to have a, a line. I'm just going to draw a long line to begin with. And I'm going to do that. On top here. Now I'm going to get a start line. All right, now this line should be equal to the height here. Now, this point here is going to be our start point zero. And we're going to stretch out our polygon object, our prism. And what we would need to get... Um, would be the length of a side. What's side here? So it's 30, that's the 30. So I'm gonna use my offset tool, 30. And how many divisions we have? One, and I'm gonna do that too. So this is gonna to correspond to zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me just get some number in, in there. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So our development starts at zero and ends at six, as indicated here where the seam is.
So I'm going to get back a construction line. Now, each one of these points here is going to correspond to a point in our development. So for instance, this is zero. This point goes to zero. And it goes to six. And we're going to go again. This is one and five, so it's going to go to one and five. And we have points two and four. And the top here is going to be three. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect it with a line. First, I'm going to connect the base. And I'm going to get my point, so it's going to be 0 to 1 to 2 to 3. Then it comes back down to 4, 5, and 6. So, since we cut our object, all of these lines are um, going to bring down. All right. Now, one thing to note, because it's a prism you're dealing with, and we have seams, even though you stretch it out, these seams here is going to leave a crease. So these lines here, we want to change it to a hidden line, like that. And this here. It's going to be the our development.